Welcome back to another Inside Access Control. Today, I'm excited to have Felicity Mormon. She's the CEO of Stratus, a uh, well-known figure in the space. Uh, I appreciate you making the time, uh, and uh, especially when things are crazy right now, but thank you for making the time just to talk a little bit. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure, and I think uh, connecting right now is important, so always happy to do it with you, Lee. No, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. The community has been amazing through this process, and um, especially the ones that I've I, just been talking to done about 25 of these now and um it's 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 a shining moment of what's great about the industry that we're in no doubt it yeah. is really um the people who reached out to me to make sure that we're okay to make sure that uh here on the east coast where things are uh definitely a little hotter than some other places right now um just checking in you know just one-liners it, it means a lot so on that note, let me, let me ask you, how are you doing? Yeah, we are, we're in Philadelphia, and we made the decision uh, relatively early to work from home. Um, for us, it really is a point of privilege. We, we know that we can work from home. We know that the impact to us as uh, coworkers can be minimized uh, if we focus and concentrate. So we made the decision, I think, the day after Google, uh, New York HQ. And so uh, that was emotional for me, having gone through 9-11 on the East Coast and 2008 on the East Coast and experiencing both of those just dramatic downturns. Closing the doors was a hard decision, but um, it was, I think, even harder emotionally to know that we didn't know what would happen next. Right. And that's, uh, that's everyone's reality right now. And I think that whether you're working from home and alone as a single person, or whether you have three kids running around in the background like I do, there's a loneliness to this that I think we are right now, you and I bridging, but right. bridging generally with the knowledge that we all are facing the unknown right now. At least I hope so. I hope people are reaching out to one another in the way that you and I have. Um, so yeah. uh, on that, I mean, there's a, an aspect of resiliency. So, uh, you know, as a leader, as who you are, a, a very vocal one, how are you getting through? What is the, how do you see resiliency and where do you see it happening uh, during this crisis? I, I've been surprised to find that I think that we think we know ourselves. And then when we come to these moments of crisis, of tumult, we, we get to know ourselves again pretty quickly. Um, I've been surprised to find a well of strength and the ability to be magnanimous with my time, um, for especially for my team members, but even extending to my neighborhood community. And I think that that outreach and that give actually builds you up more then drains you, at least, especially for those of us probably who are a little more extroverted. Like yeah. we need, we may need this more than the person on the other side. But for me, that, that concept of now is the time to give everything that I can to everyone in need um, actually feeds that, that well. And I think that most people will discover that in times of scarcity or perceived scarcity, which is probably more of what we are dealing with individually right now, rather than as a community, um, can be countered with magnanimity, with giving. And so for me, that's, I have to be active in purposefully giving right now. Activity alleviates anxiety. I'm calling it the AAA. Like this is AAA, activity, alleviates anxiety. So just do, uh, if, for those of us with children, the next right thing. <laughs> oh, I'm telling yeah. I mean, my son was just in here. He drew me, drew me a picture. Uh, wanted me to, you know, so it's, it's oh, an interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, one more. You did, this is a work of art. No idea. Oh, oh no I love idea. This. Clearly I, I, a butterfly and mountains. Yeah. I, I, uh, I was trying to figure it out. Um, he, he was giggling the entire time. So we'll see. Um, yeah, there might, if he was giggling, there might, there might be poop in there. Oh no! It's funny you say that. It's uh, there's a little <laughs> bit of that. There's a little bit of that in there. Yes, 
I, you he's, know, I'm getting to six. spend a little more time with my kids right now. It's nice. It's nice. He, he's six, so I, I give him a pass on that. But oh, no, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, um, I mean, you, you talk a bit about what um, what other people need, but like, what do what do you need, and what could Stratus use during this time? So, without being mercenary, we need people to continue to act safely and in the ways that they can to make decisions and make commitments. Again, there's a lot of ambiguity as to how things work next, but um, those of us who are capable of acting, of making decisions, of continuing forward, maybe not at the same pace. I mean, we have to give ourselves a little grace, but those of us who can act will be rewarded for it on the other side if we do so with cognizance and care for one another and safety in mind. And so I really, my goal is just that we don't see an end to decision-making, an end to curiosity. What drives Stratus is curiosity. People are wondering how to do the things we do for themselves. Um, we, need, we need people to be able to continue to be curious. And this is a hard time for that. But the, the activities of our clients, of our partners, uh, continue to drive us, give us purpose. And um, if we can keep those conversations going and those decisions being made, we will, we will grow through this. Well said. That's what I was looking for. So I appreciate that. What's the best way for people to get a hold of you? Give her. Yeah, I know. I, I, no, I, I appreciate it. I'm, I, I don't want to trample on it because I'm not going to say that any better. So um, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? If they want more information, just to reach out, learn yes. more about what you all do, uh, what's the best Send way? Send me an email. Uh, right. the, inbox is, the inbox is exciting right now and I'm happy to have it. So it's Felicity with an E, F-E-L-I-C-I-T-E, at stratusiot.com. Well, Thank you awful. very much for, for giving us your time, uh, your wisdom, and uh, the sense of hope in that that you have. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Chock full of it. Email me if you need me. I'm Will there do. for you. Thank Thanks, you. Lee. Appreciate Thank it. You.